I'm discovering something really new, guys. Okay, so you all know that I keep tilapia, right? And I have a lot of academic teachers on tilapia. And for the past two weeks, I have been feeding my tilapia stock, um, my regular fish feed, uh, which is this, right? And I have realized uh, something that is unique. I realized that my fish Color, yeah, the color of the skin. But they call it the skin or the scale, but the, the color of the fish have actually darkening color. Um, I normally use uh, the locally manufactured tilapia feed, uh, manufactured by Hypro. Uh, this feed, and guys, I am realizing that um, a lot of things have actually changed within my tilapia fish run as a result of me actually. Um, feeding my fish uh, my regular uh, fish feed um, at first my fish was not really too into the feed they would actually let it stay there until it get very soft and they get very hungry before they even try to grab a bite but now as soon as the feed is actually placed on the top of the water they rush for it right for example let me share this amount with them I just feed them so I'm just I'm not sure oh, I'm just sharing that with you. Right? They are looking a little bit more pinkish reddish than more whitish pinkish. Um in the past couple of days in which I've been feeding them. I, I shared a video similar to this already, uh where I shared that they are actually looking a little bit fatter, a little bit stumpier and they are a little bit more active when comparative to feeding them local manufactured fish food. Now, um, I'm not here to say that you must run and go and bite, but this is just my story. This is just my academic interest, my discovery, right? I've fed them already. I'm not gonna be feeding them anymore. Um, I, I, I normally feed them twice per day, right? And the um, reason why I feed them twice per day, it should be three times, but I don't want them to outgrow this space so as not to allow my lettuce um, to actually um, mature. That is for a different share, where it's you know I'm doing aquaponics. But I tell you the guys, the fish really look good. Right, so a lot of things have changed since I've actually started to feed them this way. There's no strong order, stinking order coming from the pond. The water itself, although it, it, it looks a little bit dark now, it's mostly um algae the plant within the water. Right? Um the pump is not um I call it now impacting that heavily anymore about um regarding um solids um being clogging up the pipes. Uh, I find that uh, I, I no longer need to do water change in the middle of the week. I can do water change like um, once every two weeks now. And they are actually growing. I haven't seen any fries. I know that there are some small ones within this space. So as soon as the fries are released from the parents' mouth, I know that they would actually consume them. They are at that stage. But hopefully within the next two months, I should see fries. I should change over. Um, changing them from that space to this space now for these i i i i still feed them crushed um feed that is actually produced in jamaica and um because it's more economical to do that i in my one of my next shares i'm going to share with you my time at the pet store and i'm going to share with you the buyer variety of um, feed similar to uh, the one in which I'm now feeding them uh, they do come in different size um, 
what I don't like is the, the very fine ones that would, you would probably feed to um, tilapia like these, tilapia this size, they are fingerlings, they are heavy and so they normally sink to the base of the aquarium or pond. And the reason for that is that that feed in particular is made for curry catfish and bottom dwelling fish. Right, remember, um, it's a pet shop in which they sell feed for pet fish, not for food fish. I am using the pet fish food to feed my um, food fish, right? And that's a different ball game. But for now, guys, I can tell you the color is changed, has changed, and my fish is a little bit more active. I'm not, not seeing any more gapping at the surface of the water after I've done like 50% water change. Um, I can give another two weeks before I choose to do any. I'm not forced to do any because of how the fish look lethargic and as if they are gasped in their last breath. It's exciting times, um, you know, doing this study. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Peace out. Catch you next time. Bye bye.